Hello, hello, welcome, welcome. Uh, this is my quick view here of the broken protection from elite build. It's a countdown build, uh, basically just made for countdown. 99% of the enemies inside of countdown are elites, so why would you run anything else than protection from elite? You only have a couple of red and purple dogs there maybe, and that's it. So the build focuses around the heartbreaker set, that's the new set. For the heartbreaker you need a pulse to get the stacks up and the damage up. You get 1% um, bonus armor for each stack and 1% weapon damage for each stack. Uh, the set is able to cap up on 50 stacks, but if you run the chest piece, you get another 50 stacks that brings it up to 100. So it's 100 weapon damage and 100 bonus armor. We also run the backpack here to get the bonus armor doubled, because if you run the backpack, you get 2% for each stack on the uh, bonus armor here. So it's up to 2% per stack. It's a to uh, total of 200. I'm running protection from elite builds uh, like mods here in the mask, in the backpack, the chest and an improvised holster. This is also one of the main parts here. You need to craft it. So what you aim for when you craft it is a little bit of a pain in the ass to craft because you need crit chance, crit damage on it and weapon damage. Uh, if you craft it and you have weapon damage and crit chance on it, it's fine. You can reroll the third one to crit damage. Or if you have weapon damage and crit damage, you can roll to crit chance. Or you have both here, crit chance, crit damage, reroll the main one to the weapon damage. And equip that with the mod protection from elite mods as well. You don't need to have 13% here. Uh, it's fine if you have like 11 or 10 mods in here. It's like 44 or 48% then. So I got 50 here in total, which is pretty cool. Um, it's actually more. 40, uh, 60, 62%. So we're good here in that regard. You run it with the fox prayers to get the out of cover damage. And on your weapon, you want to have the talent flat mine. That mine is also amplified damage 15% to post enemies, which we will achieve with this build also. For specialization, we run the technician. We want the technician because of the attachment that we get if you level up the rifle here. So what you want to do is like, you need the uh, assault rifle, because the assault rifle plays very well with this build. And you want the shotgun for stacking and everything. And the rifle is just leveling up to get the mod slot here. So this is an attachment for a weapon and what that, that attachment is doing for you, it will pulse an enemy that you aim at. So every enemy you aim at is pulsed. That also includes like tanks, the chungas, uh, the big ones, or mini tanks or dogs, which normally don't have a head. Like dogs and mini tanks don't have a head and the heartbreaker only pulses an enemy that you shoot in the head. This laser pointer basically uh, is a better way to get them posed and you can easily stack them on everything. So for countdown, what I usually do is when we start the countdown, you go for the hunters first. So we equip the Scorpio to three tap them for the disorient. You can six tap them for the shock and the seventh one will give you the damage buff. After you've done all the hunters, then you can switch out the Scorpio here, which I would recommend is to an ACS 12. If you have it, you can equip the rock and roll because it has a bigger magazine. But the ACS 12 works fine as well. If you only have the ACS-12, I would recommend you run the talent uh, flatline on it. And if you have the rock and roll, keep it like here with the magazine, like bigger size. You want damage out of cover on all your weapons. And that's pretty much it. Uh, I run the Reviver Hive here. You can also use another skill. It's don't really matter that much because you will not die a lot with this build in the countdown. I run the shield because I like to run it. And you have a really easy time stacking up on enemies with this one. Stack up with the ACS-12 or the rock and roll like later on in the fight when the first hunters are cleared. I would recommend switching back when you go for the extraction so you get the Scorpio again for the buff like to disorient or, or shock the hunters in the end because there are four of them in the, in the extraction zone. But in between the fights when you do the encounters uh, use the ACS-12 or the rock and roll. It's really easy stacking up. It's like half a clip and you're done with the stacking and then switch to assault rifle to melt on your enemies. That's it for this build. I hope you like it. If you do so, leave a comment. I don't really care about the likes or whatever. Uh, this is not for money. This is just for fun. So if you like it, leave a comment. That means more to me than anything else. Anyway, have fun with this build and see you on the next one.